We're in the studio with Frank Piler, the publisher of Consumer Guide. And Frank also does a lot of the artwork that you will see in Collectible Automobile. And you brought some of the, uh, the examples of your work. Now, what are some of these pictures? Well, these are things I just do uh, other than Collectible Automobile. These are just for myself or maybe someday in my retirement I'd hope to uh, uh, sell them or prints of them. But and this is, a, this is a 30, gee, I forgot the year, 34 Packard. And they made, I think, three of these cars. And I thought, well, what a neat setting to put it in Bonneville at the Salt Flats. So that's that's that one. And, and the next then. one is uh, two Chrysler show cars from the uh, early 50s. They're both uh, the same model. They're called a K310. And these are the colors that they were done in, sort of a two-tone blue and a red and black. And the house and everything is just my imagination. <laughs> the Studebakers. Yeah. I love, I love the 53 and 4 Studebakers especially. These are 53s and the background scene is the Studebaker Proving Grounds back then. Beautiful, beautiful. And finally... And the last one is just an illustration uh, from our new Chevy truck book. I did all the chapter openers, their, their decade, by decade, I should say. And this is a 57 Chevy, which is a completely new design that year. And it's done in turquoise, which was probably one of the most popular colors uh, from that period. Oh, and there's the book. There's the book <laughs> that Frank did the openers for, including that truck. I really enjoyed doing it. It's all colored pencil. I don't use any any paint or anything. Uh, I sure eat up a lot of Prismacolor pencils, though. <laughs> I'm going to end on the Studebakers. Gee, what a surprise! <laughs>